Should I have done, said it? Okay, start again. Sorry. Uh, hi, I'm Neil, um, and I have a very crisp little tiny recollection of when the Queen came out in 1954. I was, in fact, aged four at the time, and I was. Uh, I lived in Mitcham, which is on the railway line to Hillsville, and apparently when she was here, she went out to Hillsville Sanctuary. So the family hauled itself up to the station, and we stood on an embankment next to the station, and a train went <laughs> And that was my entire experience of the Queen's visit in that year. The whole ba embankment from the station down to the road, which I, you know, it seemed like an enormous distance at four, but I guess was only 30 or 40 metres in reality. So yeah, the, half the town turned out, I think. <laughs> it was, uh, I mean, I'm amazed at how crisp the image in, in my head is of the train, big black or dark maroon train thundering by, literally, you know, just hurtling past. It didn't have to stop at the station or anything, and she didn't have any signal faults along the way, so the train just went racing by, but it stuck in my head. It, uh, everyone was excited, and it was an important occasion of some sort. <coughs> So there you go. Oh, there's a long, complicated story. Um, well, we have to accept that she's the head of our state in a vague constitutional way, but otherwise I regard her as irrelevant to the functioning of Australia. As a person, I think she's done her duty to her, her family primarily, but to her country as well. So I can't help but admire the achievement that she's had in managing to stay in charge of England for 60 years or whatever it is without a civil war. Um, but other than that, it's an interesting concept, a constitutional monarchy, and I think that um, has worked very well for Britain and for Australia in that respect because we use the same structure. So, yeah, I guess I'm saying that there is something to be learned from her existence and from the structure that has been established over the last six hundreds of years of creating the idea of a constitutional monarchy and therefore a separation of some of the powers of state to stop megalomaniacs becoming dictators. So there's positives to be learned from it. So, yeah, I have a slightly philosophical view of it.